gluten-free handmade chocolate. All in a day's work for New York native Kate McAleer. Owner of Bixby & Co., the 25-year-old recently moved her business from the Big Apple to Belfast, Maine. A passion for chocolate making evolved from her first love of playing golf. When you play competitive golf, it's really long rounds and you need snacks to help you get through the day. And I, I personally really love candy, but was not uh, a fan of how sugary and um, how many additives and preservatives were in the candy that was available. I just in general thought that candy needed to be uh, reinvented. Nuts, berries and exotic spices create the unique texture and flavor of Bixby bars. The name comes from her great great grandparents Lillian and William Bixby. McAleer is one of the first owners of a certified youth trade company. It means the company is owned and operated by a young entrepreneur under the age of 35 with a sustainable and conscious minded business. So it's a, it's a national certification um, and Whole Foods Market is the first retailer to embrace and sell youth trade certified products. She never takes a day off producing thousands of bars a week. My friends think that I'm uh, <laughs> missing in action, but um, it's, it's really worth it at the end of the day to have um, my own business and control my own destiny and just be really empowered by um, you know, creating a great food product that I can stay, stand behind. Also new to the Midcoast this summer is the Saltwater Farm Restaurant and Cafe. Located right here in Rockport Harbor, most of the fresh ingredients come right off of that dock. No longer the thought of just the space between Camden and Rockland, Rockport is now a hot spot for those who love fresh local food. Literally off the boat, onto the plate, it's pretty cool. But lobster isn't the only thing on the menu. In fact, there's only one option per night. At dinner we do something really special. We have a, uh, with what we call tonight's dinner, and it's two or three courses depending on what food we got in that day. The chef writes the menu at uh, noon, and we are um, lucky that we work with a lot of small farmers and we serve whatever they bring to us. And often they actually come and sit down and have dinner with us, which is really special. There is a certain amount of trust that is involved in that it is just one dinner. Faithful customers and a challenge for the chefs. The farmers have challenges. They, are, they have to be flexible with the weather and the seasons. And we, in turn, have to be flexible with them and that, that is where our menu is changing all the time lies. The thing that was so magical about those suppers was it was like you were inviting friends over to your home. And people, strangers were becoming friends with each other. People are exchanging numbers. People who went to high school together didn't realize they were coming to the same dinner, were at the same dinner. Um, and that's the kind of magic we hope to create here.